Hi guys, today I'll be showing you one of the best all-in-one transfer apps between your Mac computers and your iOS devices running the latest version of iOS 15. This app is called Mac X Media Trends here. This is the look of the app. As you know that even if iTunes is no longer an independent app like before, because right now iTunes is integrated with the Finder app, there's no iTunes app anymore. But still, iTunes features continue to be very restricted by Apple for file transferring between your Mac computers and your iOS devices. However, with Mac X Media Trends, those restrictions are the things of the past. There are many cool features that this app provides and today I'm going to tell you all about it. First, you need to plug in your iOS device through a cable like mine right now. I just plug it in and you can see it shows the information that my iOS device is iPhone 12 Pro Max and the storage is 128 gigabytes and the free space is 34 and I'm running the latest iOS 15.2 which they supported and it show the battery percentage as well. So this app supports, you can see down here, any iOS or iPad iOS devices including iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch running iOS 7 all the way to iOS 15.2. If you take a look at all the seven icons here, so these icons are all the cool features this app provides. We'll start with the first one called Photo Transfer. If you click on it, start loading and you can see these are my photos on my iOS device. There are lots of options that you can do, but the most obvious tool for this app is you can select and export it to your computer. And even if the extension is HEIC, it will automatically convert it for you to JPG so that it will support all the iOS devices or any computer or other operating system that only recognize JPG. So it just automatically convert for you. It's really cool. So you can delete any photos here. They have the delete option here that you can delete. If I click on delete here, I have to sync. It will delete. Let's do so. And it's gone. You can select all of them and export all of it to save it to your computer. Like in case you want to, let's say, restore your device. So everything will be gone. So before you restore your device, it is always a good idea to back it up first. And this is a great tool to back up all of your photos and videos in your photos app. And another cool feature that this app provides within the photo app itself is the ability to export the photos or videos with the encryption right here. Let's say I want to export this photo and I want to encrypt it so no one can see it except me. I click on that and it pop up this setting asking me to type in the password. I need to tick this first. They say I already know losing the password for encryption leads to encrypted file unable to recover. I accept the risk and would like to continue encryption. So you tick that and then you type in the password. You can see the password is too short. We need to type it longer. And then you click OK. Click OK again. So now it allows you to tick export with encryption. Again, the same photo here. If I click export, done. But right here, instead of showing the photo itself, it showed the extension DMOP. If I want to decrypt this, there's a tool here. Just go back right here. They say data security. That's another feature of this app, another cool feature. Click on it. I just go to data decryption here. Click add file and go to the photo here and click on this one. DMOP at the moment. Click open. Click on decrypt now. And it requires me to type in the password, the password that I set up at the moment. Just type that in and click OK and now you can see the file is decrypted it's really cool so you can encrypt or decrypt any files that you transfer directly from your iOS device so that only you can have access to it the next cool feature is called music manager if we go in there you can see here it is called music manager for a reason it actually can manage all the music inside your music app you can delete any music from here okay let's say i want to delete this one click on delete click ok let's say this music here i want to export to my computer click on export done it's right here and once everything done i just click on sync and the process of deleting the music file is on the way it will be done soon done it's gone 
Now for exporting music, you don't have to click on sync button here, but if you want to edit music or transfer music into it, you need to sync in order for the music to take effect. Okay, that's music manager. You can manage your music easily from this app. The next tool is called video. You can see it look like a TV app here on your phone. So it basically manage all the videos on your iOS device. Even the video is inside your photos app. It's still recognized here. So this is all the video recorded. If you have home video, home video or TV show referring to the TV app, if you add videos or if your TV app has video in it, it will show up here. Even movie, if you have movies inside your device, it will detect and show you here. So you can control all videos on your iOS device through this app. You can delete them you can export them you can even add more videos into your device so for this in the past they call it the movie app but right now they call it apple tv app usually it is the built-in app but maybe some of you deleted it so if you delete it you have to download it back in order to view videos that you put in there let's say i want to add video into it choose this one click open now it's added again in order for this attack effect you need to click on sync it will start synchronizing done so open your tv's app go to library in your tv's app you will see this video that you have just imported from your computer it's really cool okay that is video feature let's move on to book so for books here it's referring to ibooks epub you can even transfer pdf book or audio book into your ios device but the one that ios support is epub and if you still have the ibooks app in your phone then you just add the epub into it it will add those books directly into the books app and you can just open the books app and see all of those books that you just added within your books app it's really cool the next tool is called voice and the ringtone you click on it and you can see all of these ringtones here are my customized ringtones so you can see these are ringtones let's say your friend have some cool ringtones in their iphone you want to copy those customized ringtones from your friend's phone just select the ringtone let's say i choose this one here I click export and it's right here so the extension of the ringtone is m4r that is the extent the extension for apple ios ringtone i mean for android devices the extension of their ringtone is similar to the music it's mp3 but for ios ringtone the extension have to be m4r so if you have an mp3 file that you want to convert into a ringtone make sure that you convert it into m4r before you add it into the ringtone list because if you add mp3 file or wma file into it it does not recognize you need to convert it first into m 4 or extension then you can add in here use this app to add your ringtone click add here find the ringtone add it in click sync and the ringtone will be there and like i said you can share the ringtones that you have like your friends think that these ringtones are really cool you want to share with your friend you can just select all this export it first and then plug in your friend's phone onto the computer and then use this app again to add ringtone into your friend's phone click sync your friend will get all these cool ringtones from you it's really cool now earlier i just told you that your ios device only support the ringtone with the extension of m4r it does not recognize mp3 or wma and what happens if you try to add one an mp3 file you want to use it as your customized ringtone how do you do that you do the same just add ringtone here add the music with the extension of mp3 like this click open and you can see it even provides you the extra app within this app like extra feature of ringtone maker within this app it's really cool so you don't need to have an independent ringtone maker app to convert an mp3 music into your customized ringtone you just use this app it automatically recognize that this is an mp3 it is not supported by your ios device so it show you ringtone maker feature here that you can click on and then you can customize it to the way you want so as you know ringtone is not going to be three minutes so you may want to select about let's say you want to select this area you put your cursor in the middle like this you can drag both lines the blue and the green line if you want to move it closer you just click on the line that you want like green line here i can move it in so that i only want this short area let's say i want this part so this one is about 20 seconds it shows you right here 22 seconds click ok now it's like that area when i click on save 
sync. First, it will add this music from your computer into your phone and then it will start converting. So it will do two processes, one after the other. So after it adds the music, it will start converting and cutting just like the way you want at the moment. And once it's done, it will become your ringtone. The MP3 file will be removed automatically. Let me show you what I mean here. So I click on sync. So you see it's done adding and converting and now you can see it's 21 seconds so you have to go to settings sounds and haptics scroll down a little bit you will see ringtones click on it scroll down now you can see here right here this is the carefree ringtone that we just created at the moment you can even view voice memo if you have like recorded some voice inside a voice memos app or podcast you have downloaded some files there or itunes U. if you have those it also can detect and show you here and again you can see the option of export they always have the option of export or delete a podcast as well you can even add podcasts into your podcast app it's really cool you can see so that is voice and ringtone manager and the last feature of this app is called flash drive so you can use it as a flash drive but a secret flash drive that no one can see it unless they use this app that's why they call it a secret flash drive let's add some file here click on add files and select some files here one right here one down here and some file right here and these two files and you click on open it will start transferring and now all these files are here but you see all of these app here if you for some reason forget your flash drive you can also use your device as a flash drive let's say you want to print this at school for example but your school doesn't have mac computer they only have windows computer so what you do is you can just install the windows version of media trends here they call winx media trends so the difference is mac x and WinX Media Trends. So you just install on the Windows computer and then you can view this and print it. So it become your flash drive. It's really cool. So as you can see, this app is amazing. There are seven different features that you can do with this app. So if you're interested in this app, you think it's very useful here. In the description, you can click on the link. Currently provides you with a 70% off. So instead of paying $79.95 per year, you can now pay only $24.95 per year. It is a great deal. Or you can even try the three months first. Again, it's still 70% off. Okay, that's it guys. This is MacX Media Trends, an all-in-one best transfer for app between your Mac and your iOS devices. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.